Check out our website, Thriving Plant Based, for full length yoga classes, our daily food journals, group coaching, question and answer forum, private videos, and a whole lot more. Begin sitting with your legs crossed. Feel free to place a folded blanket underneath your sit bones. Relax your shoulders. And drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. You can take that right hand onto the left ear, applying a little bit of pressure, stretching the left side of your neck. Release and drop your chin towards your chest. Keep the heart lifted, shoulders relaxed, and then roll that left ear towards the left shoulder. Maybe taking the left hand over the right ear Feeling that right side of the neck lengthen. Release and bring the chin back to the chest. Inhale, lift the chin to the sky. And exhale, lower the gaze, lower the chin. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, interlace the hands. And take them to the back of the head, drawing the chin towards the chest. Bring the elbows towards each other, relax the shoulders, and release, come back up to center, and just roll the head from side to side, just gently warming up the muscles in the neck. And bring the head towards the center, Inhale and open up the chest as you circle the rib cage forward and exhale, take it back. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, draw the belly in and round the back. Inhale to open and exhale, draw the belly in. Change directions. I'm just beginning to move with the breath here, connecting that breath with every movement. back to center come on to your hands and knees aligning the shoulders right over the wrists knees under the hips inhale as you arch your back and gaze towards the sky exhale round draw the belly in inhale arch look up open the heart exhale tuck the tailbone under round look towards the navel inhale and arching exhale and rounding Inhale, moving with the breath and exhaling. Inhale, arch, tuck the toes under and reach the hips towards the sky into downward facing dog. Keep that left knee bent as you straighten the right leg and then switch sides. You can always keep a micro bend in both knees if you need to. Gently walk your feet up towards your hands. Inhale and roll the spine all the way up to standing. Circle the shoulders back a few times. Feel the feet rooting into the ground. Inhale, extend the arms up. Interlace the hands, turn the palms towards the sky. And as you exhale, lean it over to the right. Circle it forward. Inhale to the left and back up. Exhale, take it over to the left, circle it forward. Inhale, take it to the right and come all the way up. Exhale, release the hands and fold forward. Inhale, rise up halfway. You can always keep that little bend into the knees. Exhale, step the left leg back into a lunge. Front knee is right over the ankle. Inhale, step the front leg back. Exhale, lower down. You can always drop the knees here. Inhale into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, use the strength of the belly to shift back to Down Dog. Inhale, rise up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Hop the feet up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, rise all the way up. Look up and press the palms together. 
Exhale the hands to the heart. Inhale, reach it up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the heart and lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, step the right leg back into a lunge. Front knee is right over the ankle. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, lower down your way. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, shift back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, the heels rise. Exhale, bend the knees. Float forward. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold. And inhale, rise all the way up. Look up and press the palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, bend the knees and sweep the arms up for Utkatasana. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart, open up the chest, bend a little deeper into the knees, tuck the tailbone under. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears as you oscillate the head from side to side, gazing left, then right. And again, taking it from side to side. Come back to center and on an exhale, fold forward. Keep the hands interlaced. You can straighten the legs or you can keep a nice little bend into them. You don't want to feel any strain in the lower part of your back. Opening up the shoulders and the chest here. Inhale, bend the knees and sweep the arms all the way back up for Utkatasana. And exhale, draw the hands through your center as you fold forward, straightening the legs. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, hop it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, draw the navel in, downward facing dog. Inhale and lift the heels, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift them up, exhale, lower them down. One more inhale, lift them, exhale, lower. Inhale, extend the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, use the belly as you draw that knee in and step the foot all the way between the hands. Stay up high on the ball of the back foot, activate that back thigh, and inhale, reach the arms up for crescent pose. Draw that lowered navel in, relax the shoulders, gaze is towards the sky. On an exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Lift the chin, look up. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. One more deep breath here. And exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, step back, exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, use the strength of your belly to step the foot forward. Activate that back thigh, front knee is right over the ankle. Inhale, reach the arms up. Heart is lifting. Deep bend into the front knee. On an exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, open up the heart. Lift the chin, gaze towards the sky. Maybe reach it back a little bit more. One more deep breath here. And exhale, release the hands. Inhale, step it back, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, lower the knees. Press back into child's pose. Inhale, round the spine forward. Come all the way into cobra pose. Exhale, lower the heart down out of cobra. Inhale, press down into the hands. Rise all the way up into upward facing dog. Exhale, lower the knees, shift back into Balasana. Inhale, round the spine all the way up, sitting the hips on the heels. Come into a little bit of a back bend and exhale, bringing your hands to your thighs. Take a few circles with the hips here. Nice and slow, move with the breath. And then come back to center. Extend the right hand out to the side on the ground. Inhale, circle the left arm forward. Exhale, take it back. Inhaling forward. Exhale, open the shoulder up, take it back. Inhale. 
and exhale, moving with the breath, opening up the shoulders, one more circle here, and exhale, come back to center, extend the left hand out onto the ground, inhale, sweep that right arm forward, exhale, open it up. Inhale, taking it forward and exhale, circling it back. Connecting the breath with the movement here. Nice and slow. And come back up to center. Bring your hands to your heart. Keep your gaze steady, check in with your breath. Release the hands forward onto the ground. Walk them out towards the top of your mat and lower the chest down towards the earth. Tailbone tilts to the sky. Anahata Asana. You can either bring your forehead to the earth or maybe even your chin if you're feeling quite open here. You can come up onto your fingertips, lifting the armpits, activating the triceps. Inhale, roll forward into Sphinx Pose. Shoulders are right over the elbows. Pull the belly in away from the mat and scoop the tailbone under. Open up the heart. Interlace the hands behind the back. Try to bring the palms together so they touch. Lift the hands up and away from the seat. Gently move your head from side to side. You should feel no tension in the shoulders here. Keep dropping them down away from the ears. Come to center if you like. You can bring the feet up off the earth or you can keep them rooting down into your mat. Hands come underneath the shoulders onto the ground. Inhale, open up into a cobra. Pausing here. And exhale, shifting back into downward facing dog. And then we're gonna come to sitting so you can either hop your feet through or just have a seat down in the center of your mat. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees open wide. Grab onto the ankles, sit up nice and tall. You can stay erect here or take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna wave the spine forward. Inhale, slowly rising up, rounding the spine. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, rising up, nice and slow. Close your eyes here. And exhale, coming forward. Settling in. Finding stillness here. Relax the shoulders. And notice the sound of your own breath. Gently lift the gaze and rise up. Bring the soles of the feet onto the ground. And grab onto the back of your thighs, engage the belly. Draw that lower belly in, extend the arms out. very slowly lower down onto your back extend the legs up towards the sky flexing the feet palms face up towards the ceiling and let your eyes close here Notice the breath. Notice how it moves through the belly. Gently lower the feet down onto the ground and extend the legs out long on the mat.
Allow the breathing to be natural. Just feel the support of the earth beneath you. Shavasana. Inhale and extend your arms up over your head. Exhale, roll over onto your right side. Very gently, come up into a comfortable seat. Rest your hands on your knees with the palms facing up. Feel your sit bones rooting to the earth. Feel the spine lengthen. Take a very deep inhale and reach your arms up and over your head, look up. Bring the palms together and exhale. Bring the hands to your heart. Namaste.